Welcome to lesson 6 math knowledge for your AF OQT test prep. In this lesson, we will cover the rest of the uh, math knowledge section for your AF OQT test. So before you do anything, make sure that you have a pen and piece of paper that you could write every single steps. And as always, pause the video and try to practice by yourself. Make sure that you, you have cleared your concepts and then download this application called AF OQT tutoring app from iOS or Android for more practice. In the app, it has lesson six. In lesson six, it has homework problem and also practice test. Make sure that you practice the homework at least few times and then take practice test and get 80% or higher. If you don't get 80% or higher, take the test again and make sure that you, you, you get that, okay? So let's get started. In this lesson, we'll learn how to find slope of a line, equation of a line, find distance between two points, find midpoint of two points and different type of algebraic equation. You could see algebraic equation um, one, two, three, four, five, five different types and functions. The first of all, we'll learn how to find slope of a line. You know, equation of a line y equal to mx plus b, where um, b is the y-intercept. That means where it's connected in the y-axis, right? And m is the slope. If you want to find the slope of this line x1, y1, x2, y2, you need to use this formula. So that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's apply this formula into a problem. So you could see here, find the slope of a line passing through 2, 5 and 0, 3. You could write anyone you want um, x1, y1 or x2, y2. So let's mark it. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So now plug this value x1, y1 to this formula. So that gives you um, 3 minus 5 over 0 minus 2. So if you simplify that, that gives you negative 2 over negative 2. That is 1. So m equal to 1. So this is the slope of this line. So now you try by yourself using the formula m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You could write um, this one is x1, y1. This one is x2, y2. And then plug the value and simplify and make sure that you get this answer. Then the next, we'll learn how to write equation of a line using slope and y-intercepts. So as I said before, the equation of a line y equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So let's plug this value slope m equal to 5 and b equal to negative 3. And using that, that gives you y equal to 5x minus 3. So this is another problem. You try by your, yourself y equal to mx plus b. Let's plug the value and make sure that you get this y equal to 3 over 4x plus 5. So now we'll learn how to find distance between two points. So say you have a line here that is x1, y1, x2, y2. So you want to find the distance between these two points. So how you could do that? So the distance is square root over um, x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. So now let's apply this formula into a problem. So you could say here, um, find the distance between two points 4, 7 and 1, 3. Let's plug the value. You could write here x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's follow that. Um, x1 minus x2 square. So 4 minus 1 square plus 7 minus 3 square. So uh, 4 minus 1 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So square that gives you um, 9 plus 16 is 25. So square root over 25 is just 5. So the distance between that two point D equal to 5. Now you try by yourself finding D equal to square root over x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 um, 
square you could write first x1 or y1 it doesn't matter i mean x2 or x1 y2 by uh, or y1 because whatever you get um you are doing is square if you get negative number you squared it you get positive so don't worry about that and then make sure that you get this answer next we'll find um the midpoint of two points so say like you have a uh, line here right you have x1 y1 x2 y2 so this type of problem actually came before in the test many times uh, from my experience so um if you want to find the slope of this two point um let's do that so say like this midpoint in here called x1 sorry x and y so how you could find that so um in here x will give you x equal this and y equal to that so um the midpoint x component will be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y component will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so let's go ahead and then um apply um this formula to a real problem let's do that so you could see here uh find the midpoint of uh two points so you could write here x1 y1 x2 y2 so if you want to find um x and y so you could write x n plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so um, simplify that that gives you that so that is here is x component will be that in here so x y um will be 3 and y will be 7 so as i always say pause the video and try to do by yourself make sure that you learned it so this this type of problem you always see in the actual test so now this is a practice problem you try by yourself um the midpoint m equal to um x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2 so use this formula and um, plug the values and make sure that you get this answer now let's learn how to solve different types of algebraic equation so this is the um, equation in here 8a minus 3 equal to 7a plus uh, 7a minus 33 so what you could do here you need to the the, the goal to solve an equation is to um, bring one side variable another side is constant so you could do it all different ways so let me just do another way whatever we have in here so add both side by three add both side by three so you see here three three cancel out so that gives you eight a equal to seven a minus 30 right now you see here both side has variable so you need to eliminate from the other side too so what you could do 7a subtract both side by 7a so this cancel cancel so that that gives you a equal to negative 30 so you could either do this way or you could do either that way it doesn't matter so make sure that you understand so now solve another problem so you see um there are two variables in here so if you have a multiple variables so the first step you have to do you have to simplify this algebraic equation so you see here this um, um 8x and um 5x so what you could do you could just simplify so if you combine them so that gives you 3x and then uh, you could see here 8x 5x 4 4 so what you could do here you could eliminate one side um the constant so you could add both side by four so and uh, the concept here is um um you have to do always opposite operation to eliminate something so you could see here we add both side by four so that's why you have a negative four that's cancelled out and then if you simplify that that gives you 3x equal to 12 and then divided both side by three then x equal to four make sure that you pause the video and try by yourself and understand now let's do another problem in here how to solve the equation this all different types of um algebraic equation so you have negative two parentheses y plus three equal to negative seven y minus 31 so what you could do here um you could uh, use the previous example and try to solve by yourself and make sure that you get this answer so the next uh, we'll learn another um 
algebraic equation how to solve in that case there is no number only the variable people get always um, confused so we have like many students they could do like regular um, uh, algebraic equation to solve but when it comes to the letter they get confused is not is very simple and straightforward so you need to solve for x right so you could see here if you want to solve for x you could su both sides subtract by uh, b y so that's what we did in here right so then what do you have now so this b y b y cancel out and then you have a x equal to d minus b y right now then divided both sides by a so that gives you x equal to d minus b y over a so you try by yourself this another uh, practice problem and make sure that you get this answer now we'll learn how to solve quadratic equation so that means um, the equation in the form of a x square plus bx plus c so so this is called um, quadratic equation and equal to zero so in that case I, I'm not sure that you remember that from previous lesson you learned how to factorize that so if you have a um, quadratic equation the first thing you have to do you have to factorize this um, the left side or right side whatever you have like in uh, ax square plus bx uh, plus c that form so you could see here how to do that you have 14 right so i mentioned before you need to multiply a with c first so in that case 1 and 7 so that gives you 1 and um, uh, 14 so this is 14 so you split this uh, into two numbers so you could do 7 and 2 so 7 times 2 is 14 and 7 minus 2 is 5 so you could write that form so that we did exactly so we have x square um, plus 5x minus 14 so if you split that into x square plus 7x minus 2x minus 14 and then you could take common between um, first part and then common in here right so if you take x common that gives you x plus 3 if you take 2 common that give you x plus 3 now uh, you have x plus 7 times x minus 2 and you know if you, the the product of two numbers equal 0 then they are individually they are 0 so you could write x plus 7 equal to 0 or x minus 2 equal to 0 so add both side by 2 here and subtract both side by 7 here so that gives you x equal to negative 7 and y equal to 2 make sure that you learn this one you will see um, this type of problem at least one or two in the actual test so this is another equation you try by yourself um, do the middle factor um, you split the 6 into 2 part 3 and 2 is to 3 times 2 is 6 3 plus 2 is 5 and solve this and make sure that you get um, x equal to negative 2 negative 3 so that will help you now we'll learn how to solve uh, simultaneous equation that means two equation two unknown right so you see here x plus y equal to 5 5 x plus 3 y equal to 19 so in that case what you have to do you have to eliminate one of those variables you could eliminate first x or you could eliminate first y in that case we actually eliminate um y because you need to solve for x so what you did actually you multiply that that equation by 3 so that gives you um 3x plus 3y equal to 15 and this equation is in here now subtract from the first equation to the second then a 3y 3y cancel out so you could see here um you have 5x minus 3x 2x equal to 4 and then x equal to 2 okay so um you could check your right or wrong you could check you could plug the value in one of those equation and you will get exactly same thing okay so um practice so there is another uh, problem in here you could see here 3x plus 2y equal to 1 and then 4x minus 3y equal to um 3 so you see here like it's not straightforward so you have to do a little bit a different way so what you could do here so it's 6 so if you multiply that equation by 3 and that equation by 2 so that gives you 
9x plus 6y equal to 3 and 8x minus 6y equal to 6. So now what you could do, you could eliminate this x, uh, sorry, this y and y. So then you could have 9x minus 8x is x equal to 9. So that's the answer. And if, if they ask you to solve for the y, just plug this x value with any one of those equation, you will get y. So this another uh, practice problem, pause the video and try by yourself and make sure that you get this answer. The next we'll learn how to deal with the inequality. This is very, very, um, very much same to like regular equation. So you could see a 2x minus 5 equal to um, is greater than 7. So what you could do at both sides by 5. So that gives you 2x equal to uh, 2x greater than 12 and then x is greater than um, 6. There is another equation but in that case you need to learn a little bit um, a different way. So if you have like that let me just show you something. So you have 3x is less than 9 and then what do you have to do in order to solve for x? You have to divide both sides by negative 3 right so here is the key anytime you divided by a negative number this sign will change so that gives you x is greater than negative 3 so this is the answer so apply that and um, solve this equation you will get this answer so you kind of see here this sign with that sign they have so now we'll learn how to solve this type of equation so um, the formula is e a to the power x equal to a to the power n then you could write x equal to n right so you could see here 3 to the power x equal to 81 so what do you have to do first you need to write this 81 in terms of 3 so you could write here 3 times 3 times 3 is uh, 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 21 times 3 equal to 81 so you could write 3 to the power fourth power so that we did here and then apply this formula a to the power x equal to a to the power n then you could write x equal to n so apply that concept and um do this one so you could see here um we do um 2 to the power x plus 5 equal to 128 so you need to write this 128 in, in terms of 2 so that gives you 2 to the power 7. So you know if base are the same, you could write exponent r equal to each other. So x plus 5 equal to 7 and then x equal to 2. The same way, pause the video and try by yourself. Make sure that you get this answer x equal to 7. Now we need to um, learn how to do the absolute value, the modulus equation. So that means absolute value means um, it has positive and negative side. So absolute value of a equal to 5 right so that means a equal to 5 and a, a equal to negative 5 or negative a equal to 5 either way you could say so make sure that you understand that concept so you, you could see here um absolute value of x plus 2 equal to 5 so that means this has two um a value positive and a negative so you could solve both so then you have x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 7 so there is another example uh, practice problem so you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer so now we'll learn how to um, solve this um, the function so it's very very basic functions so you, you know the function if x value is given you find only one y value that is the, the function right so now you have uh, f of x equal 5x squared plus 3 find x um, f of 4 right so what you have to do you have to just plug the value um, the x with 4 in here and then that should be fine so f of x equal to that f of 4 equal to 4 times 5 squared plus 3 is 16 times 5 is 80 plus 3 is 81 so f of 4 equal to 81 so next you practice by yourself exactly the same way you did um and make sure that you get answer x equal to i um, mean f of uh, 2 equal to 3 so that very much you need to learn for the algebra 
um, the basic algebra for your officer candidate test so make sure that you watch the video at least few times and practice using this our uh, application so download this af oqt tutoring app for um, iphone or android phone from app store or google play and um, you will see lesson six has like same type of problem that we have discussed in the video so make sure that you do the homework at least few times and take the practice test to get 80 percent or higher so if you want to study uh, one year computer you could also subscribe our course that the link is below in the description so go ahead and do that and practice